Hello friends and welcome back to The Dork Side. I'm the dork in the road and today I want to share my sort of modular tire changing kit, tool kit, first aid kit, strap kit setup and the way that I can run just this bag on a day trip or all of them on a long adventure and be covered for multiple eventualities. <music> I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy so please consider subscribing. And don't forget, I'm better than your regular riding buddies because I come with a mute button. I get a lot of questions about my toolkit, what tools I carry on multi-day adventures, overnight moto camping adventures, or just daytime kind of trail riding, forest exploring adventures. And I haven't really answered that question because to be honest, I haven't really had a good system. So this winter, this fall and winter, I've made an effort to kind of refine this setup and make it work for the bikes that I have. Basically my system, the way I like to run it is it's got multiple parts, but there's a very basic setup that you're covered for most basic eventualities. And as you add more parts, I've tried to reduce redundancies and increase capability, but also keep things in sort of a portable modular. I don't wanna be taking things in and out of kits all the time. I wanna be able to just grab this bag, this bag, and go. Or all three bags, throw them in my pannier and go. Or just this bag and strap it to the tail rack or the crash bars or whatever and go. So let me kind of show you and try to walk you through the setup and the idea. This is gonna seem a little bit like a giant loop commercial probably. <laughs> the giant banner in the background notwithstanding. I just put this up because my neon sign's not working and I need something in the background, but I do get gear from them because I work for them. So you don't have to put what's in these kits in Giant Loop Possibles pouches if you don't want to, but I like the Possibles pouches because they can be strapped to multiple bags. They can be strapped to my crash bars. They can be strapped to my saddle bags or my panniers. I can do more than one. I can do just one. They go right on a tail rack. They're waterproof, rugged, and spacious. So take that with a grain of salt. But let's start with, this is the one that I like to take on every ride. And I've tried really hard to make it so that it can work on every ride with every bike that I have or that I currently use a lot. So, oh, and I should mention, I always attach them with these giant loop pronghorn straps. So that's why those are there. I took them off the bag so they wouldn't get in the way. But this is the old school giant loop possibles pouch. It is waterproof, it has a roll top. So I'm just gonna open it and show you what's inside. This is my tire changing kit. This is my bare bones, basically got this on every ride kit. I just put all this in here. If I go out for a day ride or trail riding, this is all I take with me. If I go out on a longer trip, I'll take this plus the other bags. So this tire changing kit has a tow strap because for whatever you can't fix, if you just need a tow or you need help to get a hand to pull your bike out of a ditch or something, sure is nice to have a tow strap. So I've got that. This is the giant loop version, but there's plenty of them out there. Uh, spare tubes this is a 21 inch tube. You can use a 21 and an 18 inch rear if you have to, so you only have to carry one tube for the front and the rear. This works for all my tubed bikes, my 450L, my Tenere, the XT225, and even the Bras. I can use this tube. I have four tire irons. It's nice to have more than two, but these are tire iron wrenches. So I've got a 27, a 22, and a 24. I don't actually need all these for the Tenere and the 450L, but I carry them all because one, extra levers is never a bad thing. Two, I might have to help somebody else and three, they don't take up that much more space. I have one extra here. I had to pick up this 32 when I got the 450L because the rear axle bolt is a 32 and uh, this is not very heavy duty or sturdy. So um, it's nice to have this, but I like the heavier tire irons for actually doing the work of spooning the tire on and off. This is a uh, bead buddy knockoff. Actually, this just keeps the tire in the drop center, makes it much easier to get your fingers in and get the tube in and out of the tire. This thing, if you don't have one of these in your tire changing kit, Order one literally right now. Valve stem puller. This takes the hardest, most time consuming part of putting in a new tube and makes it really quick and easy. You just shove this through the rim, tighten it down into the valve stem of your tube and you can just pull it back out with this. So much faster. And then that's a valve stem puller. Got a CO2 inflator in this kit because this kit is for when I'm not using my bigger kit. My bigger kit actually has a compressor in it. But on a day when I'm just trying to get in and survive, I just take the CO2 inflator. And then this is my little tool kit, my emergency tool kit. It used to just be my DRZ tool kit, but I I've taken out a few things to reduce some redundancies. This thing has saved me a ton, a ton of space because the Tenere and the 450L have those Allen key uh, bolts on the front axle. And so you gotta be able to hold it while you unscrew it from the other side. And this has a 19, a 24, a 22, and a 17. If I need to use the 19, I just put the 22 on the back side. 
stick it in and I can hold it with that one and vice versa, it flips over. So since I have a 22 and a 24, I can use this either way. This little thing saved me, I don't have it handy, but I had a giant 19 millimeter Allen key this big that I had in this kit. Don't need that anymore. Got some uh, rim, rim savers. Those are, I forget what they're called, but they're to keep you from screwing up your rim. Pair of pliers. Couple of combination wrenches. So this is a 10 and a 12 for a million things on the bike, but in this case in particular, it's for uh, pinch bolts. This is a combination 17, 14 out of the DRZ toolkit. And then this thing I just added, it came with one of my e-bikes, but this is just a little multi-tool. It's got an eight, uh, nine and a 10 socket. It's got screwdrivers and it's got a bunch of Allen key sizes. So I'm saved from taking all my Allen keys with me. It's got a nine, five, four, uh, it's like a three, two, one, I think. And then an even bigger one on this side. So this little thing, that's handy. So all of this fits into this little green possibles pouch, little ditty bag. And all of that fits into my tire changing kit. So I have a few tools to make a trail side repair if I have to on a short trip. And I try not to carry tools for things I don't know how to fix anyway. Keep in mind what's in this because when we get into the other one, you'll notice I've tried really hard to not be redundant and try not to double up because I always have this kit with me. Now for a longer trip or if I go out on the bigger bike, or whatever, I just have more room, more space, I'll add this second bag. This bag has my tool kit and my compressor in it. I've got a couple extra straps, because you cannot have too many straps. You know, a million things you can use those for. I've got, this is that Fantic X8 compressor that I made the video on. This thing works great, holds a charge a long time, fills tires up reasonably fast. There you go, little, little compressor, battery powered. Just check it and make sure it's charged up from time to time. I like this because I don't have to run the bike or uh, have a battery cable hook up and I can just use it. I can loan it to someone else or whatever. So it's super handy. And then in this kit is, this is my climb tool bag. It used to be you had to buy a backpack from them to get this. Now they sell them separately. So I bought one separately and then ended up buying a backpack that had one. So now I have two, I'm not even using the other one. But anyway, in here, let me just give you a quick rundown. This is more involved tools. So should I need something a little bit more complicated? This is a kit that'll go with me on a BDR trip, a longer trip. Couple combination wrenches, got an 18, got an 11, got an eight. Vice grips, these are super handy for if you break off your brake lever or your shift lever, you can just snap those on there and use them in a pinch. Got a reversible screwdriver, got some JB Weld, bigger pliers, got a socket wrench, crescent wrench, and then in here it's just my cruise tools fix it kit. So that's duct tape and zip ties and, and wire, uh, safety wire. A few more zip ties and duct tape, more zip ties. A bunch of sockets, Allen keys, and then this cool tusk. Uh, this is a collapsible T-handle wrench that works with sockets. That's pretty cool. So this is just more general tools, better tools, uh, bigger tools that are easier to use. You know, some, the little combination wrench probably works fine in a pinch, but it sure would be nice to have an actual socket, you know. And there's actually room to spare in this bag just not quite enough for what's in the other bag. So there's a little redundancy with multiple ways to inflate your tires, but that's not a bad thing, because that way, if this thing was dead, or I used up all my CO2 and didn't realize it, or they just weren't good in the bag, I'd be okay. And then this is the third bag I'll take, slash the bag I'll take when I need a first aid kit. This is the Survivewear small first aid kit, and it fits really well in a Giant Loop Possibles pouch, which is why I like it. Also, this is my first aid branded Possibles pouch. So it's on top of my first aid branded possibles pouch. So I know immediately right where my first aid kit is. Anyone else that needs to use it, if I'm unable to tell them or just not near the bike, they know right where it is. I always put it on top. There's other things in this pouch, but that first aid kit is the first priority. Uh, but there's just enough room in this to add a couple, they're not luxuries, but extra things to take depending on what you're doing. One is, this is my Tusk tubed tire repair kit. So if I go out on the Norton, I'll take this. Uh, I don't need tools to take the wheels off with the Norton because the Norton has a very nice tool kit under the seat that I use to take the wheels off, so I know it's possible. But this is a tube tire repair kit. It has a CO2 cartridge, a bunch of patches, and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, and the plugs, those are nice to have. And then also in this kit is my Tusk jump starter. So if I need to jump a battery, sure is nice to have this. And also functions as a light and a, you can see, functions as a light in a charger, you can use it as a, to charge your cell phone or whatever, so that's nice to have. So all that stuff stays in this bag, so on a long, long trip, I've got all three, I just grab the whole bag. On a shorter trip, or if I just need my first aid kit, then I just take it out of this bag and take it. If I'm going out on the Norden, obviously I'll take this, or any bike with uh, tubeless tires. My, none of, most of my bikes don't have tubeless tires. And this fourth bag is kind of optional extra, but I keep all my straps in this, 
this is a giant loop zigzag bag, so I could strap it to a crash bar. It actually makes a freaking fanny pack. You can strap it to your backpack. It's designed for handlebars, but it goes anywhere. I've got giant loop cinch straps, uh, pronghorn straps. I've got some rock straps, which are good, better in certain applications. And this thing I either strap to the outside, just throw in a bag, or I don't always take it with me, but I've never regretted having extra straps. So that's another piece of the puzzle. So this is my modular toolkit tire changing kit setup. And my goal with the setup was to make it as easy as possible to have what I need because I sometimes wait to the last minute to plan or whatever. So I know that if I just got to go and I don't want to get stranded, I just grab the tire changing kit, slap it on the bike and go. If I'm planning a longer trip, you know, I'm more worried about food and lodging and camping gear. I just throw all three of these bags in and I know that I'm covered for most situations that I'm qualified to deal with. I have actually made quite an effort to make things more lightweight and stop taking so much extra stuff. As you guys saw on the BDR, I'm very guilty of that. So. Um, this, I've taken out a bunch of things, tried to reduce redundancies as much as possible, but the rest of this stuff is stuff I feel like is pretty essential. So interested in your feedback. And I just wanted to answer the question, what tools do you carry? Because I get that one a lot. So thanks for watching. I'll try to put lists and links to everything that I can in the description below. Uh, some of this stuff, I don't remember where I got it, so I'll do my best. But uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Uh, thank you. Excellent! Thank you.